got up with Caroline's. So it's iPad. about, hang on, honey. Yeah. It's about um, 9 a.m. and the kids are still sleeping. So it's a little hard because everything that we're trying to stick to has them doing some things before 9 a.m. And then I am actually um, conducting a Zoom conference with some of my students at 9.30. So I kind of need them to have something going on so they don't bother me. Um, so we'll see how we play it going forward. Um, I have a group of juniors who I, who I meet with um, during advisory time on Tuesdays and Fridays. So we're gonna try to uh, continue that throughout the closing of school, so through April 20th. And they're really bummed because um, their prom and junior ring day have been um, postponed or canceled. I should say canceled because we don't really know if there's another date that they can do it and they probably will have to do it um, sometime next fall. So they're upset. So this will be like a time for me to check in with them, see how they're feeling. Uh, we can talk about it a little bit. So I'm looking forward to hearing from them and helping the best way I can. Students will expect to see me. Instead, they'll see Charlotte when they join. Everyone kind of woke up late, so they will be eating breakfast while I try to have a little Zoom meeting with a group of students. Hang on a second. Keanu, what are you doing? <laughs> it's all video sensing on Scratch. Okay. You can, like, pet this cat right now. So it's like you're petting a cat? Yeah. That's awesome. And what are you using to do it? Um, I'm using the camera. Okay, and how are you building it? Oh, uh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I kind of forgot, but. Uh, well, what, what program are you using? Oh, Scratch. Oh, Scratch, awesome. Okay, stop heading the cat. We miss you, we miss you a lot. We hope you all got your work bags from mom and dad. Kindergarten. There's video. lots of things in there. What kind of announcing the day to them, they'll do one each Don't day. Want to jump into her teachers yeah. have done a so fantastic today, job all we so want far. You to do is catch that leprechaun. We had a great trap that we started in here that we're hoping we're going to leave up and we're hoping that we might catch that leprechaun. But your only job today is to try and catch a leprechaun at your house. And let us know if you get that leprechaun because whoever gets the leprechaun probably is going to get that pot of gold. Yep. And tomorrow we'll be sending an email to your parents first thing in the morning with a list of a couple little activities that you can do to keep your brains fresh. We don't want anybody to leave their brains in bed. Nope. All right, so catch that leprechaun today and we'll send you another video tomorrow. We Bye. love and miss you. Bye, friends. <gasps> so exciting. We get to yeah. trap a leprechaun today. Yeah. What did your kindergarten teachers want you to do today, Charlotte? Show that. Well, no, what they want you to make. A leprechaun trap. A leprechaun trap. Tell us all about your leprechaun trap. So, so we tell them how he gets up. There's going to be a ladder. A ladder. He goes up the ladder. Okay. And then what? And, and then, then if he wants to come in here, he goes oh, to the other But if right you look down. up top, oh, there's gonna... a hole. So he falls into the box. Oh. And if he wants to go right here. This is a it... little couch. He'll fall right in and go down the slide. Oh. Like this. And, but and he'll he get can't trapped. And he'll get trapped. Okay. Charlotte, who helped you with it? My brother and sister. Oh, how nice. Are we going to get that leprechaun? Mm, yeah. Okay, good. So we are wrapping up our second day, and I would say things went as good as they could. Um, you know, a couple of things that have gone through my mind today, it's just you know, the reality of it setting in that the kids won't be back to school until the 20th. I won't be back at work or to school until the 20th of April. And that maybe it's not the 20th of April. And I think about my youngest who's in kindergarten. She's not going to have a kindergarten graduation. Um, my oldest daughter who is saying, I'm so sad because I really love school. Um, and to my son, who is so excited about some of the things that he's doing at home, he's been on this cool little coding adventure, but wants to share that with his teachers. And, and so I'm sad for that. But then I think about, and I had mentioned this to a group of friends, that um, I feel like we as parents right now have the ability to kind of freeze time. Uh, I have kids. 
um, that are right at that border where it's not going to be fun hanging out with mom and dad or they don't want to, but right now they do. They're young enough and they do. So I get to freeze time a little bit with them, be with them, um, make memories with them. They'll always remember this. I'll always remember this, but more importantly, they will too. So it's kind of a, a, a little silver lining for me. Um, and hopefully it is for uh, many others as well that we get kind of time back with our kids. Um, so that's kind of my end of night uh, tidbit or food for thought. Um, tomorrow I actually start my day of working with students. Um, so we've kind of been testing some things out. I've been planning tests, um, kind of getting everything in order for tomorrow when we go live with what our plans are at my school for our students. So it will be a bit of a challenge because um, I had a little more time for Monday and Tuesday of this week uh, with the kids, uh, giving them a little more attention, but tomorrow it's gonna be a little different, so.